Good evening, everyone. Here we are. How's everybody doing? People who want the comments. Doing good here, Gil. Sorry, yeah. I just got back right before you went on. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Uh, Dave will not be joining us tonight. Uh, he's, you know, he's, those of you reading in the chat there, he was a little over hot there in his house and he's a little heat stressed. So we will let him bow out and try to uh, collect his thoughts. If he has stuff to add, he'll be putting it in the chat. But let's see who's all here. Let's do a little roll call before we do anything else. First one to check in was Mouse Toes, then Tasha Prep For It, CB at Huga Homestead, and you need to scroll on down, then CR, Creative Redundancy, uh, Matrix Transparency came in, then Dave uh, mentioned it, and let's see, everyone's talking, Big Chap came in. Yep. And going down, scrolling down, uh, everyone's talking. Emma's in here, Emma3010. Uh, Carol, Fishes and Loves Life is here. Uncle Al's talking to them. Uh, Teresa, Stringfield Ridge Farm. Conrad Homestead is here. And I think built on something. Yeah, on a rock. Well, I'm not, I'm not down there yet. Okay, we have Howie, Food Forest Permaculture here. Kaylin Strain is in the house. And everybody's talking. And down here, Bob942 is here. Purple Tea Bear is here. Built on the Rock Homestead. And Ginger Ninja is in the house. Okay, Ty, yeah, 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 covered them. Shady Hill Homestead's here. And I'm caught up. Yep, 21 and all. And, uh, let me uh, let me clear the screen over here so I can actually get the uh, see what's going on here and there we go and it says yeah seventeen thumbs up and twenty two in the house which means there are some people that are lurking not a problem lurkers hope you learned something and everyone else here hope you learned something now I got a surprise for everybody this is not going to be what you think it is I'm not going to be telling you what you need to get. You're all going to help me tell each other what we need to get, come up with ideas, things that we should be getting before winter sets in. So everyone, put on your thinking caps, get out your little pieces of paper and a pen, and get ready to take notes, because hopefully we'll have information for everyone to figure out things that they may have missed doing before winter. And Kathy's here! North Star Prep Stetter. So I oh and by the way, guys, I am keeping the the uh, Gray Man Prepping logo under me here, even though this is Camp Pet and Family Compound Channel, just because a little bit has to do with prepping. So I'm going to keep it on there as well. All righty, uh, Mary Beth Smith's in the house. Who else did I miss? Anybody else here? I do uh, an homage to Uncle Al. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> get my thinking cap on. Yep. <laughs> there we go. Oh, there you go. I, I got the I got the wrong way. Do I got one of those around one. here? Do I it have one better. of those around here? No, I. You got the don't. chocolate chip. Yep. Uh, All right, hang on. Let me put my other thinking cap on then. I couldn't resist that. <laughs> <laughs> I knew Uncle Al would like that. Yeah. All righty. Okay, so, you know, the topic being items you still need to get before winter. Oh, And, of course, it, with what's going on around here nationwide, uh, th there are some shortages in certain areas, but the show shortages as far as what I've been able to determine, hey, Northern Girl Hobbies, is due to lack of manpower in the trucking industry. Yeah, because a lot of truckers are retiring this year. They're getting fed up. It's OK. I, I'm retiring. I'm done with it. And they're scrambling to hire truckers and get truckers trained to be able to do all do all the stuff, put up all, all the BS that truckers have to put up with. And so some places are just having a hard time getting trucks to deliver the supplies. The supply froze. 
Yeah, I know. On, Truck, trucks are, <laughs> are 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 city. I mean, the supplies are sitting in the warehouses, the distribution centers. They just need to get the, the trucks that are sitting there loaded to go to the stores. So, right. Also, think about the, things that you might need. Al, what do you want? Okay, on the trucking besides issue, a million dollars. Uh, well, <laughs> 4.5 million dollars. But anyway, the big thing right now is all the truckers are retiring, like Gil says, but he forgot. Those also includes Canada and Mexico because somebody, I won't say Captain Crazy, was trying to hire Mexican truck drivers. They're pushing 70 years old and a lot of them said in Spanish, no, we got to retire. You don't want a 70-year-old man from Mexico driving 18 gear wheat, you know what I'm talking about, shifting, uh can I see over the steering wheel? No, it gets a little scary, folks, when he's pushing at 55 or higher, you know. Yeah. And yeah, you guys yeah, may not know it about me, but I actually drove a truck for about five years, got a million miles safely driven. That was an SOB getting done. Yeah. And Dave was, you know, you know, his former trucker, he talks about it and stuff. And you know, like he says, he would not drive one today. And I, oh, no. I too, actually had my... Um, my uh, class A CDL with a hazmat um, uh, signer on it because I was driving fuel truck for a construction company. Yep. So uh, yeah, I wouldn't. I, you know, I would not want to be driving. You know, not at my age. No. Right. Hi, Klingon Princess. And also, folks, uh, remember, Gil, we covered this about two months ago when the uh, lubrication factory went kablooey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in uh, Rockland, uh, Illinois, I believe Illinois. it was. Right. Yep. They're only third of the production, and all of that's going to the military. If you do got lubrication for your farm equipment, get it now, because they said they're not selling any civilian lube until, I think, April, because they're trying to build up production again. And that's yeah. going to take them a long, long... Well, 2002... <coughs> Right around the corner. We just wait until then. <laughs> yeah. So um, items that you still need to get before winter. What was in my mind, what I was thinking about, okay, uh, does everybody, if, if you have a, have a wood-burning stove or a fireplace, do you have your firewood? Um, do you have um, you know, all your first aid kit, all your Band-Aids and everything else, everything all stocked up? Do you have, I'm here, I'm going to start a run. Do you have your TP stocked up? Do you, what items do you have that you think you're going to get in case you get snowed in or in case the delivery trucks get snowed in, even though you're down in an area where there's not any snow like Florida and they're coming from the northern states and they're snowed in and it's going to be a couple of weeks before your store gets stocked up with a, a particular item. Do you have enough of items to get you through the winter. Okay. Uh, we got uh, Wiley Witt uh, living here. And did I say hi to Ginger? Yeah, I had Conrad, I said hi to earlier. I think I. Uh, oh, uh, he had a question. He said, what kind of lube? Across the board, folks. The whole grease, lubricant. Yeah, grease, special mol molly lubricants and stuff like that. That's what the, uh, what that uh, plant was. That was the largest produce of lubricants. Uh, in the United States, I got mine, yeah. so we're good. Yeah, <laughs> so did I? When it first burnt down, I ran to the store. Yeah, um, the uh, what's, what's uh, funny is uh, the one. Uh, no, that's that's another thing. I, I was thinking about the meat pro meat processing when I saw uh, when Northern Girl Ho Hobby says she was in uh, Ontario. It was the meat processing plant that got hacked last year. One of the ones up there in Ontario got hacked. Right. Um, and that's the thing, too. How much ground beef do you have in your freezers, folks? Some of you that go out hunting, yeah, your hunting season's opening up, and you, uh, and you hopefully you'll be able to go out and get yourself some venison or moose or elk or whatever. Hold on. We got foreign language going in the side chat here. They're wait, talking wait, about, wait, hey, wait. huh? Right? I think there's what? some Canadians out there or something. Right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, folks, also understand, I almost forgot this one. I think I forgot it again. Um, 
because of the, the supply chains kind of getting screwed up and stuff. If you don't get your surgical or medical procedures done before November, you got to wait until spring. Yeah. Because they're running on short of, they can't do regular medical procedures because they can't get the supply to do medical procedure because who's taking up all the space? Oh, you have to take, you know, Captain Crazy's mm -hmm. man mandate cruise, but we need <sighs> other supplies for the nursery. Oh, that's yeah, on that truck. Teresa, Teresa nailed it, actually. Um, I was just looking at my stuff here. I got uh, one big box of the 60 envelopes of the uh, Swiss Miss hot chocolate. And I got figured, okay, I got to hit Costco and get a couple more boxes. And I got one box of the um, uh, spiced apple cider. And I need to get a couple more boxes of that to keep me through the wintertime. I got a 35 pound can of Dinelli's chocolate. So that's the cocoa and the regular hot chocolate. Yep. So I'm set up. And Purple Tea Bear is right. For a lot of you, it's coffee. And I know Dave is stocking up on it. So on the water thing, guys, they have plenty of water, especially in North and South Carolina. The problem is they don't have plastic bottles. Yeah. We talked about this earlier, too. I forget who, whose live stream was it. But they're running out of bottles. If you want yeah. to get a beer can of water, not a problem. They have plenty of those. And that's the thing, too, folks. If you're worried about you know power outages and stuff, if you have a pressure canner, start you know pressure canning the, uh, the the beef in the jars. If you don't have a pressure canner, check around with friends and stuff. See if they have a pressure canner. And if they're not pressure canning right now, ask if you can borrow it for the weekend and can, can a bunch of beef and get it into uh, right. jars. <laughs> I, get, I, I forget, does LDS still have those canning parties still or not? Um, not so much right now. Um, a, a lot, you know, it depends on the area where some of them are doing it. Um, because of what's going on with uh, the influx of new variants of the Red Dragon, um, people are starting to, the smart people are starting to pull back again. And, um, Oh, it's like, well, like, my, like my wife said, she goes, I'm not sick. I'm not worried about me spreading to anybody else. I'm wearing my mask because the stupid idiots out there who got the and think they're immune now are the ones that are getting and spreading it. Right. That's half my idiot family. But we're yeah. doctors, Uncle Al. I don't care. Get away from me. These are the same idiots that owes me five bricks of toilet paper from last year and yeast and water. Mm -hmm. What else do they steal from my stores? Oh, yeah, gas. Gasoline. Gasoline, I remember that. <laughs> it's like I'm looking at them like, you went to Harvard. You went to Yale. Didn't you figure this out? No. Also, yeah. they killed my roses, too. I showed you on my garden tour. tour. Hey, they killed my they killed my maple, Japanese maple tree. They killed all my miniature roses. $100 a pop. They fried it. But we sprayed weed killer around them. Yeah. Anyways, for getting, uh, oh, boom. Howie. Howie's cheating. Howie's cheating. What did Howie say? He shakes the apple tree, step on a few apples, and all the deer come running. <laughs> I don't have to do that where we moved our property backs up to a deer preserve so I've got quite a few deer that's good for me uh, oh. like okay so Kathy's pointing out fermented homestead did a great video today about freedom right so I'll have to head over there and check that one out I did not get that notification Arr! yeah I'm back in YouTube jail again, I think. Yeah. We all are because yes, I told everybody yesterday, three and a half hours, I couldn't comment to nobody. Yeah. Uh, but the big thing is, folks, the uh, like WD said, uh, there's a run on welding equipment, mm -hmm. the supplies, the goggles. I, said, I asked my friend about how much the price for two bottles of acetylene, and I looked at him. 
you're serious two bottles and he said no yeah. they went up about six times the price i'm like i'm not paying that go to yeah for price the prices on some things people are starting to get froze when when the price of food started going up as much as it, it has been people started raising everything else because they want to have money to buy their food right so everyone else is raising money up as well so this is but, why you have price controls during a, an emergency yeah hey copper kettle fan of uh, the boom, 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 copper kettle farms <laughs> almost said fans <laughs> oh, so um one of the things to consider also is i just went on my brain senior moment uh so in in things you need to get just pop back in do you ever does everybody have their winter clothing already yeah you, you something i had left over from last year but think about it is there anything that was wore out that needs to be repaired on uh, you know, those heavy duty coats or the, if you have to if you're working on the homestead you got the, the the insulated coveralls do you need to put up patch those up at all do you need new ones because they're beyond patching? You know, think about things you're gonna need. Um, the, the muck boots, the rubber muck boots for getting out there in the mud and stuff. Uh, are, they, 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 they crack and dry out over the summertime. You, know? you don't want a leaky boot if you're in knee deep of cow poo. You wanna, yeah, have, you wanna have hip waders if you're knee deep in cow poo. <laughs> I do have hip waders. Yeah. Wool socks. Yeah. And I, uh, I, I must say, oh, uh, a couple of years ago when Costco came out with those wool socks, I really loved them. I ticked off my wife and I kept on buying the, the six packs every time I went to Costco till I had like 15 six packs of wool socks and I got most of them aren't even open yet. So I'm good for a couple of years on wool socks. Our cabin in the woods. Good point. Yeah, check your first aid supplies. Mm -hmm. And also, quit buying horse medicine. Sheesh. And uh, Tim, from up in northern, North Idaho, plastic ba uh, bread bags for leaky boots and any other type of plastic bags that you can salvage and use in case, just in case, you know. Hey, Big Dreams Homestead. <clears throat> so, oh, okay, I haven't seen Courtney around yet. Um, there is, uh, if you sit down, and basically what you got to do now, yes, where I'm at, hey, we still have any of seven high 70s temperatures here, but I'm going through looking at stuff that I'm going to need in the wintertime because now is the time to get it. Because if I go to the store and because of the supply chain problems, they don't have it this trip. I'm going to have it on my list for the next several times I go to the store until I get it. Howie put, puts up a good point. Car batteries, test your batteries, see if it's okay. Yeah. Hey, Josh. Josh Connor is uh, chatting with us on Facebook. He's in his safe space. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Josh. Ah, like V. Good, good, good point. Beanies, earmuffs, hats. And sometimes uh, scarves, too. Don't forget the scarves to go around your neck and everything else. Then you can pull up. Um, I forget what they're called. It uh, begins with a B. Um, up over the nose. The uh, baklava. Yeah. Those, too. They have, yeah. They have those as well. And Emma said, Well, if you're going to talk about that, you should have told me. I've got several of them sitting around here. Yeah. Uh, so kerosene for your kerosene lanterns or the high dollar paraffin lamp oil right you know, get that now because you know, if your power goes out you, even the kerosene stinks up the house a little bit uh, but the the high dollar paraffin uh, oil works good vodka all right my wife and i do not drink alcohol at all guess what my wife was talking about thinking about stocking up on vodka for medical purposes and for making te uh technature whatever it's pronounced for you the herbs and stuff yeah, tincture, and for bartering. Surprise the right. heck out of me. 
Also, folks, a big thing is uh, snow tires and chains. Keep telling mm -hmm. this to people. Get it in August or September, your chains and snow tires. Because remember we did that live stream, Bill, on the, mm -hmm. the tire factory? They're yeah. not getting supplies from overseas. And we don't yeah. have any natural source of rubber tree. And I don't think the oak tree over here, hmm, I could tap into the oak tree and get some sap. Yeah, and, and uh, for killing oak tree, and that's something that uh, uh, Emma was saying. You know, she was saying kerosene. She was saying for her uh, emergency heater. You know, because the power goes out, you may have a gas furnace, but they you, you, it powers out. That blower ain't going to work. The electronic ignition's not going to work. So you know, you're going to need to heat some other sort for so some other source of heat, and. Um, I know I did the review on it last year. The Mr. Buddy propane right. heater with the oxygen sensor. Mo I guess most of them now are, are just de defaulting the oxygen sensor, but there are still some out there that do not have the oxygen sensor on them. I'll be glad when those are all gone. The other yeah. good thing to do if you have the Buddy heater is make sure you get one of the larger propane uh, regulators for it because you can hook up up to i think it was 100 pounds or 120 pound tank to it and right. it will downgrade it to the like the one pound bottles it will downgrade it so that it won't blow out the buddy heater we were in pennsylvania so we had one of those and probably not going to need it this year we're going to be dancing around in our shorts when it's winter here right <laughs> all right we got uh good uh goodbye blue skies in the house how you doing and yeah i started it off with firewood howie so that you, everyone start thinking out of the box. What are the things that you know, you don't think about until it hits? <gasps> umbrellas. How many of you put your umbrella away slightly damp last year? Have you opened it up to see if it's full of mildew, or did you, did the kids use an umbrella that went inverted and they forced it back and just rolled it up and stuck it in the closet? <laughs> Check your umbrellas, folks. Right. Here's a big thing, folks. If you don't want to free range your kids, get diapers. Lots yeah. and lots of diapers. Pepper book, uh, book clubs in the house. Oh, yeah. Oh, and uh, for those of us who are old, uh, to that point in our lives, fortunately, I'm not yet. Um, your depends. Stock up on your depends, too. Ah, Mary Beth is killing it. She has a 30-foot hose for her Mr. Buddy. So she can leave the tank outside. <laughs> oh, there we go. Emergency blankets. Um, not all right. Um, Harbor Freight. The last time I was in there, still had the wool blankets. Yeah, you got to um, air them out good and make possibly wash it once because they have their their processing chemical on it, but. Uh, you know, wool uh, wool blankets make great window insulation. You know, it helps keep the house warmer. Right. Another trick is you buy the heavy duty space blanket, mm -hmm. and you put that in front of the, or is it behind? You put it between the glass and anything else you have uh, inside. Right. And what it does, it warms up the house. I'm trying to remember. Is it, it reflects the heat back in and and and, insula and keeps the cold out of the house a little bit right. better than just a wool blanket. All right, there we go, everyone. Kathy's on it. She put it up there. The Harbor Freight wool blanket link. Cool. And okay. how he's going after food. Oh, thank you, thank you. How many have your snow shovels? How many have already gotten your ice melt? How many got, uh, whatchamacallit, your snow plow and what else are you using? Snow blowers. You love walk in snow blowers. Yeah, but the spare parts for those. Yeah. It's really hard when you pull on the cord and goes rip. You know, like. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I like about the electric one I got. I just plug it in, squeeze the handle. No, Courtney's here. Yeah. Courtney's here. Hey, Courtney. All right. Um, yeah, take care. Take care. Preventive maintenance now. Um, 
air filters for your in your furnace stuff, all those filters. Clean out your um, dryer um, lint um, exhaust ducting. Get that all clean. Yeah, the, the ducting there. Your and stove, over your over your stove, the um, grease grease trap vent, grease thing uh, trap vent filter uh, for your uh, the, for all the smoke and stuff in the uh, off the, over your stove, the hood. Get that clean. Uh, like I tell people on that one, just get a uh, a two pack. And you put a new one in, you take the old one out, and you soak it for a day or two in Mr. Clean or uh, Janitor in a Drum or um, 409 to get all the grease out of it. Uh, Kathy says those blankets are eight bucks each, folks. Eight bucks for a wool blanket can't beat that. Other thing that works good, too, from Harbor Freight, and you wa watch it when they're on sale. They have the smaller um, moving blankets, but the big ones, the 80 inch by um, 60 inch ones, yeah, it's those are killer, especially when they go on sale for $5.99. Though, you know, I, I probably have about 20 of those. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, I just, it jumped on me. I was trying to uh, watch the chat here. Let's see, it's back up here. Uh, okay, so Gardner Josh is back in here. Uh, replace air filters. We get some spares. Um, what else we got here? Uh, oh, Big Chap says keep the lint for emergency fire starters, especially if you have a wood burning stove or a fireplace. Uh, yeah, we scroll down here. I'm trying to get all the ideas, guys. Uh, oh. Check the hoses around your, your your hoses for your toilet, for your sinks, for your dishwasher. Uh, make sure they're all good and 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 safe. You don't want those breaking in the winter time. Right, especially the wax ring or the plastic ring or the silicone yeah, well, ring. You yeah. don't want that separated from the toilet. Yeah, make sure your toilet's still bolted down tight. Right. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Yeah, Courtney's like me. She cheats for the most part, uses the tractor for snow removal. But on the walkway, I use the electric one to uh, blow it out. Uh, oh, yes. Anyone using the Mr. Buddy, the kerosene, um, uh, the kerosene heaters or any of those right. type, any type of heater at all, even though it says it has an oxygen sensor on it, Still, get some carbon monoxide detectors. You know they have some great ones. You just, you, just, you don't have to wire them. In. You just plug it into an AC outlet, and it's got the bat. It's got the rechargeable battery in it. So you just plug it in. Power goes out. It still works. Come out, comes back on. It recharges itself. Uh, right. Smoke yeah. your smoke alarms and detectors. Change right. the batteries in those. And folks, if you do have uh, emergency lights, like I run, run my nephew runs for me. The dairy, we have emergency lights. They have 12 volt batteries in them. Check them because you don't want to be sitting at 4 30 in the morning looking, okay, who's the idiot supposed to change the batteries? <clears throat> and the cows are moving, and you're with a flashlight that makes it real fun. This is why okay. I'm old and sick. All right. And Emma, uh, oh, uh, built on a rock, said about the ice, the little hose in the back, the thing for the ice maker. Check that too, because those things love to crack. And right. she, she, you know, she meant to buy the variety pack of the washers for uh, the sinks and stuff. Guys, hit Ace Hardware, Home Depot, or Lowe's, get those. Oh, don't forget if you're using a wick type type lantern that either uses uh, paraffin or uh, kerosene, mm -hmm. make sure you have extra globes and wicks. Because I repaired so many last winter, it's not even funny. It's the first time we ever used one. I'm like, God, they're going to burn the house down. Also, buckets of sand with baking soda and fire extinguisher. I don't care. There's a fire extinguisher in the toilet. There's a fire extinguisher in the closet. There's a fire extinguisher in the garage. Because I don't trust people, especially my own idiot family. But we were smoking, Uncle Alan, and it should be safe. That Klingon princess was typing a little faster, saying saying hello to uh, a belt on the rock. 
Hey, we got Tennessee <laughs> Tactical One in here. Hey, Tennessee. All right. And uh, yeah, I don't think. Hey, t uh, Tennessee Tech, have you been doing your uh, your ammo updates lately? I haven't getting any. Yet. I got to go back in and check because I haven't been getting the notifications the last couple. Oh, of weeks they've here. been cutting people left to right. I lost yeah. five so far today. All right, let's see here. Uh, man oh, mantles for lanterns. Yes. Yeah. So if you have one of the, the propane lanterns, you know, with the mantles, get right. that. Or diesel. Uh, not diesel. What's the old school one for a hundred watt one? I can't gas. Remember. White gas. White gas. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Uh, man, it's going so fast here. Everybody's. Uh, Ah, okay. Cool. That's a neat idea. You take the ice melt, put it in pantyhose, make it make a little snake tube of it, and put it up there so it uh, keeps the uh, the water flowing off the roof. I would say you could probably do that too. Put uh, those uh, some of those in the gutter if you have gutters, so the gutter stays uh, melted. Oh, anybody that has the um, the you would play the um, pipe wrap thing that heat that has the electric heater in it to heat the the pipes and stuff. Check pipe to make piece. sure those are still working. And uh, if you have the ones that are up on the roof, they have those uh, little black cords that go up like this at the bottom there to prevent ice dams. Um, first freeze you get up, freeze that happens. Get out there and feel those. See if those are warming up. If they're not warming up, they need to be replaced. Right, and make sure it's dry when you do that. When it's yeah. wet, I don't want to see. Uncle, Alan, don't worry. Ah, don't. Okay, and what do we got here? I uh, miss something. Hey, seal, uh, seal safety's in the house. Uh, let's see what else we got here. I'm, I'm, I'm scrolling back, trying to catch up on stuff. I think naturally NC's yeah. here. Yeah. Ah, uh, naturally NC. How you doing? Okay, let's see what else we got here. Um, other things you might want to get. Okay, uh, jumping back to what Kathy, North Star Prep Center said. Um, okay, we're going to talk about one here in a second. I'm going to put it up here. Then I'm going to talk about it. But I want to cover it. Double check your, your pantry. If there's anything you're going to need during the winter time, get it now and keep your pantry up. For the winter time, okay. Charcoal lighter fluid, alternate source of cooking, outside. All right. Not inside. Don't bring the little hibachi in to cook inside. Or in the uh, fireplace. Uh, the, char the charcoal briquette puts off an enormous amount of carbon monoxide. Right. That's why we find dead people after a barbecue inside the house roasting marshmallow to make s'mores. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I wrote this All right, down. Emma, fi Emma fired up the next thing. Pet foods, pet medications, all the pet stuff. Make sure you have plenty for the pets. And don't forget your own medication, med uh, right. medications. And this is going to be coming out on your prep in the morning on Gray Man uh, Prepping. Um, I just finished uploading it. It's coming out in a couple days. Your medications, cold medications. Oh, Make sure you, you have enough. Did you do hmm? one this morning on gloves, right? The one, yes, morning was on gloves, but I just loaded 10 more days out. So there's, they automatically pop up 6 o'clock in the morning on Gray Man Prepping, your prep for today. And it's we're coming at a lot of the stuff we're doing here. Actually, let me go look at this page over here. See what other ideas I can get from my list. Right. Okay. Uh, these are all the shortages I wrote, all right, for Allie. It's Allie Carroll. Uh, because of the massive grain failure in the Midwest, that's wheat and barley. Uh, there's going to be a big beer shortage. Uh, next to it is aluminum can shortage. You ever notice the aluminum cans are getting a lot thinner? Mm -hmm. And uh, they're stretching as much as the supply. Oh, and you kids, if you run to the soda section, no plastic bottles. And hey, Gunslinger. Hey, Gunslinger. No plastic bottles or cans, so you're limited to what you see 
on the racks on sodas unless you got a soda stream you're out of luck okay um kathy just remind me something i'm finding it here it is boom get it up and i'm going to share this uh guys if you want to get the fish antibiotics there are some that are good for humans some are not this is your source alton's antibiotics infectious disease book uh dr bones goes through here and he lists which brands of fish antibiotics or fish mocks is good for humans basically he let, names out the, the manufacturers that on their line they just kind of they just relabel exact same pills for humans or fish so it's if you're spending like another 75 dollars for the name brand yeah froze this is uh prob probably your best source for finding out the information great book um along with his other one so uh yeah alton's uh, antibiotics and infectious disease uh book here will help out on that um okay uh, high wolf thing yeah and kathy there she threw it put the, put the link there in the, in the side chat there it is boom yeah thank you kathy drops family garden is in the house hey um wolf fang hey how's it going right and oh yeah no generators indoor no generators near doors outside right. no generators near windows outside 15 yards or feet i forget bruce 15 to 20 feet's good if you can get it further than that that's fine but you, you got to worry about how long you're going with that extension cord too right yeah. and the cord you're running from your generator into the house 10 gauge if you can get it 10 gauge extension cord harbor freight has it at a at great minimum price. 10 gauge yeah right. if you can get an eight it's gonna yeah. it's gonna deliver that power more yeah. efficiently to whatever you're using it for yeah the the eight gauge though i mean if you have the, the single plug like on the uh the, on the right under uh bruce's uh arm over there the on the generator i have there in the background there the regular 110 single, you know, you know three prong one there. Uh, the biggest I've seen for those extension cords is 10, but the one next to it, the, the uh, three prong and the four prong twist lock ones, you can get those in eight gauge around. Um, I'm not sure if Harbor Freight has the eight gauge or not. Uh, Home Depot can order the eight gauge for you. Right. This also, if you go to a electrical supply place, tell them that you have a generator that you're you know plugging into your house and you need a because it's a 6kw generator or whatever you need a eight gauge or a six gauge they will make one for you it may cost you 100 bucks but you can get a cord that will work for your specific generator yeah and if you need it to come into the house and you're going to break it off in the house they can actually make a um a contractor's um I can what's called it's basically the cord comes into it you got a whole bunch of 110 plugs. um plugs around it with each one with its own little breaker next to it right and right here folks does it, everybody who has a generator and you see the outlet plug that goes into the uh, yeah see, you see that hang on let me uh drop this thing here off of there yeah Okay. Yeah, so that's where it's why we have it wired into the house where you don't have to bring it through a door, or window, or something. That's why we had those plugs put outside. Gil has one. I have one. WD yeah. has one. Yeah. So you got transfer switches. Um, uh, Tim called that bo boxing a gang box, but they called it something else a little bit. But gang box is one of the things they also referred it to as well on the end of the that big heavy duty extension cord. Yeah, um, 12 gauge is a little light if you're running a long distance. The yeah, longer the time. distance, the thicker, you know, and the, basically uh, 14 is bigger than 16 gauge, 16 is bigger than, uh, I mean, 12 is bigger, uh, 14, 16 is bigger, yeah. Your, zip, your regular zip cords, you know, lamp things, there's 18 gauge, 16 is the small um, cords you get at Home Depot and stuff. 14 is bigger than that. 12 is um, bigger than that. 10 is the biggest you generally get like at Home Depot 
or uh, Lowe's or Ace Hardware, Harbor Freight, um, and then eight gauges bigger, six gauges, you know, six gauge, you know, it's like that big around the whole cord. It's a heavy duty cord. And the reason you want it that big if you're working with larger electrical values is because the resistance in the smaller cord is what's going to kill you. You're not going to get the full power transfer, and it's also going to heat the cord up. That's mm -hmm. very bad. You don't want yeah. that, especially if you're running it through a window. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, because, we, again, and me and Dave, we did the yeah. fire thing, and we showed people how if you put it underneath a rug because you don't want to see it, that's how you make your house catch on fire. Quit that. Yeah. Um, other thing. Hang on. I'm going to look up. I'm leaning over to my other computer. And let's see here. Uh, blankets. We talked blankets. Canned meat. Either canning it yourself or um, buying it pre, the pre-package. Uh, you can get, you know, you can get uh, chicken, turkey, beef. Uh, shredded beef, pork, shredded pork, um, tuna, crab meat. You know, yeah. I hate to say it, but Wally World has a lot of different types there when they have it in stock. Right. And um, if you uh, want to look at Dollar General, if you order it from their website, not the store website, they'll do in-store shipping free to your local Dollar General for free. You uh, be like a dollar a can or sixty nine cents a can or my favorite mutton, which is a dollar ten. Nobody eats it except for me. Can mutton dollar ten because half my nephews look at me like, who eats canned mut mutton? It's an old cheap. It's good for you. Eat it. Uh, you yeah. So you, yeah, you, at, at drops is right. You can get the cord itself at Lowe's, but you need to. Put the uh, the um, the plugs in your receptacle and plug on it yourself. Oh, it's Dollar Tree, not Dollar General. Thank yeah. you, Kaylin. I got those two mixed up. All right. Um, okay, dental stuff. Toothbrushes, toothpaste. You know the your little pick thing for in, in between times for uh, keeping things clean. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Um, oh. Anything you might need for home emergency home repair, um, a bucket of Henry's uh, wet patch, some extra tarps, um, like uh, happened, what, what like happened to um, Anthony Pimento prepared. He had a tree branch come down uh, through his roof. Um, okay, where is it here? Okay, yeah. So um, Emma says clove oil. Uh, Let's see what else we got here. Um, first aid kits, make sure your first aid's up. Batteries, any extra, you know, uh, double A, triple A, you know. And if you have a if you have one of the you get the rechargeable ones, make sure your recharger is working. Uh, let's see, um, uh, extra water in the house because the water lines freeze. You may not have water coming to that. It may freeze out in the street, like happened to my. Actually happened to a lot of people down there in Texas. My sister was down yep. there on that one. Um, you can get the water cubes from uh, different variety, different types so at Wally World. You can get them on Amazon. You can get buy them at different places. Some some of the, the smaller local stores get some of the um, the non blue water cubes, the clear ones, for like five six bucks. Get those. Uh, oh, there's a good up. point. Tasha said, prune those uh, <laughs> branches before they come an issue. Right. Emma put up uh, JB Weld. Yeah, JB Weld. Okay, let's see what else I got here on here. Now, these are these are ones that these I'm reading off the list here are your prep of the day items that have already been published on my website. I talk more about them there on the right. uh, gray man prep on gray man prepping. And All Tim right. had a uh, question what does Colo Weld do? It numbs the dental. Uh, tooth paint. Yeah. All right. But you got to be careful with it. It can also burn your gum. So you don't put right. a lot in your gum. Read up on it. Check around with the, some of the homesteading ones. Uh, I believe Stringfield Ridge, Teresa was talking about it. And a couple of the others uh, were talking about that. All right. Uh, so water bottles. Okay. Uh, hygiene sanitation for babies. 
and uh, the missus. Uh, sharpening, sharpening devices for knives, drill, saw. Make sure you have all your stuff sharpened now so you're not out, having to go out into the garage to sharpen stuff up. If you need a, uh, your chainsaw in the wintertime because something fell, you want it sharp already so you can get out there, get it cut up, and get done with it. Go ahead, Al. Uh, big thing is, because this is funny, because I keep telling people, do not lean your butt over the balcony and release the crack can into other people's backyard because yeah. they had a lot of uh, toilet issues because on the big apartment buildings, because we did a vi uh, live stream on that, on the Texas snowstorm stream. In one first floor apartment of a 15-story apartment building, what happens to everybody when they flush the toilet? And you're on the first floor? Yeah, y'all backs up on you. Okay. Uh, all right. I'm going to hit back over here again. Paper goods was one of the was one. paper goods I put out on September sixteenth, talking about paper plates, paper cups, paper bowls, and guys, they have actually have uh, the biodegradable plastic forks, knives, and spoons, so you're not throwing plastic into the uh, into the fireplace to burn it afterwards. All right, um, use chopsticks, folks. Uh, personal care supplies, uh, shampoo. Deodorant, razors, um, that type of stuff. You know, that's one of the things you just need to go through and look at. Uh, uh, oh, if your house does for some reason uh, become unlivable, do you have camping gear? Have you ever camped out in cold weather? You may want to practice that this uh, as, as we go into the fall when it starts getting cool, so you realize. In case you have to move out of your house into a tent, what are you going to need? I got a camper, so I don't really care. <laughs> I'm old, not stupid. I'll be sleeping in the camper with the propane tank on. What happens if someone steals it before you get out to it, Al? <laughs> I got backup. Okay. Um, all right. We got, uh, let's see now. East for oh, bread and beer. Guys. During the winter time, I'm not sure how how uh, last year was kind of shortage of garden seeds. Any garden seeds, grab them now as well too before they uh, clean them out of the stores and you know get ready for the, the winter stuff coming in. I see somebody put Long Johns down there, and that's uh, Audra homesteading in Idaho. She's done yeah. some real cool videos about things that goats are great for. Go check those out at homesteading in Idaho. She just put some good stuff out this week. Yeah, you never know. You never know. All right. And what do we got here? Uh, storage containers. You might need any storage. Shoes. Winter shoes. Double check your winter shoes. Uh, oh, do you have enough games to keep everybody happy if you get snowed in? Cabin fever is not good. All right, let's see what else we got here. Uh, alcohol supplies, both drinking and non-drinking. Anybody saw, anybody saw that one? I pulled uh, champagne from uh, the Golden Circle and had him up there. Uh, okay. Yeah, I have to correct something, folks. It's the flat tampons. Do not use the tube or cylinder tampons for any wound. Yeah, they expand and stretch the wound. Yeah, you don't right, want to put those no. in there. You don't stuff it into the wound. You use it over it as uh, like gauze Blood packing. Soap. Yeah. All right. Um, we talked scarves, work pants, uh, allergy meds. Some people still have allergies in the wintertime. Yes. Uh, and I just po pocket warmer thingies work. I yeah. have, I showed it a couple of times. Uh, I have a little, it takes uh, cigarette lighter fluid. Works really oh, well. Okay, so, uh, yeah, so those are the, that's the Zippo po pocket warmer. They also have those uh, the gel packs that have that metal thing, and you pop it, and it has to cause the chemical reaction. And then you also have the um, the ones with the um, iron filings in it, and you crumble those up, and they heat up too. They do work. All right, uh, propane tanks. Make sure all your propane. 
tanks are full. Right. Get a build now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, my, my one grandson had an allergic reaction to something at school. His side of his cheek here just swelled up like someone punched him really hard. Right. That's why you have, uh, uh, what did Doc Bones write in this book? It starts well, with a B. Benadryl. Right. Yeah. And Benadryl you have in tablet, gels, um, liquid Injectable. form, cream form. And so you also use it for topical reactions too. Right. Hey, HPC. It's the yeah. Homesteading uh, Preparedness Collective. All right. Uh, what else here? Candles. Guys, if you want, if you're getting going to get candles for extra light, get the friggin' big fat ones, not the tall skinny ones, because the tall skinny ones just burn down really quick and kids have a habit of knocking them over. You get those right. big fat ones at Walmart that are about that big around, have like four wicks in it that you can't knock over. If you try try tipping over, it comes back up. That's probably Another the safest trick candle to is have. Put it in a bowl of water. So if they do tip over the candle, yeah, the water will put out the fire or and cool the wax down. Because a lot of people forget yeah. that the wax, when it's liquid form, it's flammable. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we just... Uh, Today, what uh, was released was uh, gloves, work, winter gloves, winter work gloves, because you don't want to use those nice, fancy, nice, warm ones, you know, when you have to go do, do something really nasty and tell you, you're going to tear them up. Uh, laundry supplies, make sure you have all your laundry supplies, uh, lighters, matches, you know, lighter fluid. Uh, coming out the next couple days, we got boot laces and shoelaces, cold medications, <coughs> fire tourniquets. Uh, there's something people uh, aren't adding to their new first aid kits. There's class online classes that you can learn how to use these new tourniquets, but the, you want to get the good Cat 7 tourniquets and that stuff. And uh, Doc Bones and Nurse Amy on doomandbloom.net have some great videos on training on that. Right, but Gil. Yeah. Glasses. Right up, yeah. Yeah, glass. Yeah, your 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 glasses because hey, sometimes your grandson will be, will bend it and break it. And you got to put a glob of glue on there, so you can keep using the glasses. Yeah. Um, oh, gasoline. If you're going to have gasoline, and especially diesel for the winter time, and you got a diesel tractor. You may need to add the uh, winter um, additive. additive additive to it so it doesn't gel up on you. All right, let's see what else we got here. Extend covered extension cords, extra light bulbs in case your lights start burning out, or the surge. If there's a, a, a power line gets down, you get a spike, a power spike surge, and all your nice LED lights with electronics in it go, and now your LED lights don't work anymore. Have some extra on hand. Okay, tarps, covered tarps. Uh, oh, caulking, window caulking, just in case. You something get cracks or and you need to caulk it. Also for your windows, have, um, and this ha just happened this week uh, across the street here with my uh, grandson. My oldest grandson, he's uh, six and a half, seven now, ha he's, uh, has autism. And when he gets really frustrated, he bangs his head into the wall. Well, this time he decided on the four foot by six foot plate glass window, he decided he was going to charge it and smash his head into it. And he broke the, 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 the he broke a, a, that much of it out of the window. It all fractured in and there's just spider webs going up on it. And so I had my daughter, I was, uh, I was still in uh, California the last, last weekend. And so it happened on Saturday, I think it was. Uh, she came over here and got my four inch wide roll of gorilla tape, stretched it out first, cut it, placed it on the window, and tra tra tracked down all the cracks and everything, and then covered the big center section with it. So, gorilla tape, not just duct tape, gorilla tape. That stuff will, hey, you, you want to remove the hair on your leg? Just rub that on there, and yank it <laughs> off. Guaranteed uh, to remove every hair on your leg. 
Right. Uh, another thing, folks. <coughs> Sorry. I have to take medication in a few minutes, but you have to be careful because on certain grocery items, they're downsizing the package. Remember when you used to get sausage package this big and now it's like this big? Remember when you had bacon this big? Now it's like. Yeah, it used to be 12, 12, uh, 12 ounce package of bacon, sausage, beans, peas. Now it's 14 or 12 ounce. And from 16 to 14 to 12 ounce. Right. The 12 ounces is what they're selling at Dollar General or Dollar Tree. Right. It's getting smaller, folks. Okay. Uh, just reading that here. Um, okay. So I'll, I want to shift back to a, a, to a more homesteading topic on it. And when I kept, when I saw Audrey and I was going to do it, but I got off on this other sidetrack squirrel. Animals, your livestock. Do you have enough feed for them for the winter? Get that feed now. Goats, horses, cows, pigs, whatever it is, make sure you have more than enough because this is supposed to be a long winter. Right. Think of several weeks longer than normal, and we may have some really co colder dips in there. So the animals are going to be eating more food. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they're going to need, uh, eat more food to create more more calories to create more heat to stay warm. Right. Us dairy farmers, we had the solution. If you see on the highway near a big dairy, you see these big plastic mountains. Those are silage. We ain't crazy. We use everything from the corn. We chop it up. We chop up all our feeds. We put meat. Uh, what did we put in there? Molasses, oats, and corn, and and we spray I, um, sorghum. So, well, it's uh, molasses sorghum, but yeah, we, we spray it with something else. It adds a protein factor, and it get, cuts down on the ammonia of the of the pickling process. Basically, yeah. it's like a giant mound of sour cabbage or sauerkraut, but we're talking metric tons. Oh, and All don't right. try stealing it either. Because only cows can digest it, not oh, horses. Oh, yeah, yeah, not horses, no. Because cows have four stomachs and the horses have one. Right. You want to see a horse vomit? You feed it silage. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, those of you that have been growing banana, uh, squa uh, banana nut squash and some of the other squashes and stuff, you don't have to... Process it now. If you have a nice, cool place to put it, uh, a root cellar or access to get under the house to put it, you can uh, put uh, put those there and store them so that you don't have to process it right now. Uh, yeah. Uh, thank you, Kathy. So that's the uh, that's Gray Man, my Gray Man prepping channel, and that's where. Every morning at 6 o'clock Mountain Time, 8 Eastern, uh, your prep for the day goes live. Right. Uh, Kaylin had a question. Yes, you could store butternut squash in a cool, dry place if the skin is seasoned. If you don't actually, see Actually, Al, my daughter put several down there last fall and they're st in the basement down there, and they're still good. <laughs> Yeah, because so, if it's a cool, dry place, it's not a Yeah, it's very, it very cool and, and down there. And, yeah, so that's uh, still good. Yeah. Uh, banana nut is something my, my, my daughter and my wife and my mother like. I'm not a squash person, but I got to suffer and chow down. Make sausage out of it. Yeah. With a little fork. Pack. Actually, my, my mom used to make, um, and my daughter, my wife just started doing it, make, using zucchini and butternut uh, and the, and the uh, banana butter and the, all the squashes, making bread. Oh, that's good. So, night, all right. Howie. Good night, Howie. And so we're hitting now, right, we're at the nine o'clock hour, folks. Yep. So, everyone in the side chat and on the panel, do you guys want to keep going? Do you have any other questions? What you missed for the season?
Oh, I, I, I can probably name, name off another. I got I reached number item number uh, four, 57 out of 180. <laughs> these are these are the items here are what's coming out every day for uh, your your prep for today. Right. And don't forget, folks, it's the long winter. All right. Don't get confused with the other two. We won't have the dark winter until 2022 to 2023. Because I'm getting tired to explain this because what's a dark winter, Uncle Al? Yeah, a lot a lot of you know cloud cover and stuff. Right, right. And also it deals with the electrical system. Which one's the oldest electrical system in the United States? Yeah. The oldest electrical system's up there in New York. Right. And everybody forgot 2003. Remember in the middle of the summer? Yeah. Ontario. Uh, Emma, yes, this will be up. Side chat. The side chat will be added. To, well, YouTube will post the side chat to it in the morning. Uh, so uh, Seal Safety wants to know, why do potatoes go bad so quickly in Mississippi? I think it, part of it has to do with the humidity. Right. Also the fungus. Yeah. And so it's, it's, the, it's the environment that down there. I know um, Anthony in South Carolina has the same problem. He can grow his, but he's got to use them right away. Right. And also he has, uh, if you want to grow, uh, you could substitute potatoes with Night Teresa. Uh, Night Teresa. You could substitute potatoes like David the Good with sweet potatoes and yams, yeah. traditional southern yeah. tubers. And you can, if you want to use a su substitute something for potatoes like in, in a beef stew or something, you can use... Um, there are certain types of radishes you can use. Kohlrabi. Yeah. And um, daikon. Right. And All I right. think, um, oh, whatchamacallit, the yellow turnip. Rutabaga. That's it. I yeah. keep forgetting that one. Okay, I just jumped. Okay, to see here. Uh, all right. So, oh, Kaylin has a great emergency light source. I remember her talking about this. You can get those hundred string lights that run off a couple double A batteries. They're LEDs. Uh, Walmart, I believe. Uh, uh, Walmart has some. Uh, Dollar Tree, I believe, has them as well. But yeah, those things are great because you can just you know put them down the down the hallway. You know, a, a string up on the hallway. That way, if the power goes out, you turn them on and you have a night a, a walkway light so you don't trip over stuff. Yep, absolutely true, uh, Prepper Club. Yep. All right. Um, let's see here. Gotta scroll down here. I could. I just jumped in. Uh, oh. Uh, so that's something else they're talking about. But uh, you can also use the uh, Jerusalem artichokes in beef stews and, and turkey stews and chicken right, stews right. and stuff like that. All right. Um, Good night, blue sky. Yeah. All right, and okay, oh, Kayla got her from Wal from Walgreens. All right. Uh, 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 Courtney's bowing out on us too. Good night, Courtney. All right, so uh, yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up here now. Everyone's getting tired and going. Yeah. Uh. All righty. So let's see here. Let me pull up the the, uh, the coming attractions here. All right. So on Tactical Tuesday on Gray Man Prepping is going to be, uh, we're going to talk about vehicle kits, things that you might want to add to your vehicle kit for the winter. And we're going to go over that and then some general other kits will work into that as well. Um, the... Okay, I'm not sure what Dave is going to be doing. Southern Ohio Prepping is going to be doing on Tuesday. He hasn't uh, let me know yet. He'll have something. He'll probably have a little uh, either Monday or early Tuesday. He'll put out a, a video saying what, what this is going to be about. Um, I know Courtney at White Family Farms has several things going on. She has something on Sunday night at 11 Eastern time. Right. And then... Uh, on I think Wednesday. it's for 
for her uh, members only giveaway thing. Yeah. And then we have, uh, uh, I'm trying to remember who's all doing what here now. Wednesday is uh, Wide Family Farm again, has something on Wednesday. Uh, she has her interview, followed by the after party um, at um, 11 o'clock uh, Eastern time, which uh, we all sit around just hash the bowl. Uh, the... Sorry, I'm just I'm just walk, trying to watch the chat here. Nightfield uh, on the rock. Next, he has the next, the kids. Next, fr next Friday, we're going to be talking about ways to extend your growing season. So that's what's happening here next Friday. And so, uh, Bruce, have you figured what you're going to do next Friday yet? No, I have something come around. You know that. I just kind of yeah. see what's happening during the week. Okay. So... All righty, folks, uh, we're going to wrap this up here. I'd like to thank all the good ideas that were in the side chat, and I hope everybody was uh, taking notes. And, oh, there it is. Uh, so Courtney just put up her schedule. Sunday, these are Eastern times. Okay, and... Uh, And of course, you know, there are some great channels out here who are putting out great videos. If you're not, uh, hey, Albany Mountain Homestead, hey, how you doing? Uh, if you came in earlier, I missed you, I'm sorry. Uh, so if anyone in the, in the in the chat here that has been putting out videos, bros, they're generally really good videos. Um, Audra, Homestead in Idaho, Courtney, White Family Farm, uh, Stringfield, Teresa at Trink, Stringfield Ridge Farm puts out good stuff during the week. Uh, Kaylin Strain puts out good stuff. She does uh, MRE reviews and does stuff on her little balcony garden. Uh, Built on the Rock has put stuff out as well. Big Dreams Homestead. Yeah, there's a lot of great cop, copper kettle farms. Guys, if you're not subscribed to these channels, subscribe to each other. Support each other. All righty. And with that, we're going to wrap this up here. Any last words uh, from the panel up here? Bruce? Just think about what you're doing. If there's something that you think, I can't live without this, make sure you go and get it now. Have it in storage and get two or three spares. Because if you yeah. need it in the middle of the winter and everything's still stuck on ships out in the ocean, doesn't do you any good. Right. Yeah. People on the food part, if they cancel Christmas and Thanksgiving, you tell the kids, uh, here's a card. I owe you for whatever Xbox game and stuff. We're buying food for you, so that's it. We're not doing yeah. the toys and stuff. It's food. Yeah. Or you have have them make presents. Yep. All righty. So, as always, everyone, stay happy no matter what life throws at you. Stay safe. Don't do anything foolish. And most of all, keep on prepping, getting your supplies going, and we'll see you next time around. Take care. Night all. Night.